Welcome to Bits of History. My name is Lee Pulaski, President of the Resurrection Bay Historical Society. This bit of history is another in our Gone But Not Forgotten series, in this case the original Sacred Heart Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic priest Father Philip H. Trunell was sent to Seward in June 1905, two years after Seward's founding. The Mass was first said in Seward at the Alaska House, a hotel operated by John Dubrell on 4th Avenue north of Adams Street. In October 1905, Father Cornell left Seward as he felt it was impractical to hold services without a church building. In the fall of 1909, the Catholics of Seward began construction of a church under the instigation of Father Matthias Schmidt of Valdez. John Belain, Seward's founder, donated one lot to the project and the church group bought an adjo adjoining lot from him, and at a later time they purchased another lot. The church was located on the east side of Fifth Avenue between Adams and Jefferson Streets. The large building at the left of the photograph is the Alaska Central Railroad Headquarters building, where City Hall is now located. By November, the Sacred Heart Catholic Church, as it was named, was usable but it was not completed until the spring of 1910. The church building measured 24 feet by 32 feet. The only major change in the building was in 1915 when it was enlarged. In 1933, a new foundation was placed under the church and rectory. The interior was plastered and altar rails and paneling were painted and varnished. In 1961, the priest serving the church at that time, Father O'Neill, was optimistic about Seward's growth and submitted a plan to the bishop for the construction of a new, larger church on the site of the Ocean View apartment building, which had been the old St. Francis Xavier Hospital building. Located at the corner of Fifth and Jefferson, the apartment building was demolished in the winter of 1962-63. Before any action could be taken on the proposal for a new church building, the 1964 earthquake struck Seward. The Sacred Heart Church building was severely damaged and the Corps of Engineers declared the building unsafe. Skip Pletcher, the owner of the Liberty Theater, was asked about the possibility of using the theater for mass. He was happy to oblige. The theater was used by the church for a year. The A-frame building proposed in 1963 was approved on May 8, 1964. Ground was broken for the new church on June 16, 1964. On Easter Sunday, 1965, Mass was said for the first time in the new Sacred Heart Catholic Church. The bell from the old church steeple had been kept for installation at the new location. The old church building and rectory were sold, and after repairs, housed several different businesses over the years. By 1989, the building had been converted to apartments. During the evening of May 26, 1989, a fire broke out. All the occupants escaped, but the building was destroyed. The site of the church is now a parking lot for the Edgewater Hotel. As a part of Seward for over 50 years, the original Sacred Heart Catholic Church should not be forgotten. Thank you for listening to this bit of history. Remember, to learn more about Seward's history, visit the Seward Museum at the corner of 3rd and Jefferson.